Okay, I've never juggled before in my life. I think three bowling pins is a good starting point. I think so. Some people start with tissues. Ah! <laughs> Almost had that one. <laughs> See that? Oh no! Look at his face. I got it. Pure concentration. Got it down. Hey, Craig, throw the other one at him. <laughs> okay, we got three bowling pins. We're going to water jet one in half. We're going to pierce one all the way down. And then the last one, probably gonna throw it in that. Oh, Bertha. <laughs> oh, Bertha. Oh wow, that is really warm. Get a reading of that back side. 136. It's the max it read. At 138. -ish. Pumped it full of water and abrasive for more than four minutes. And we think it won. Uh, the lowest point that it broke out, I think, right. is right there, yeah. Well, these are screw holes. Oh, those, yeah, that's right. Well, it's still warm down here though. Yeah, it is. No, I think the next thing we need to do is cut this one in half now and see just how far we got. Does it smell good? No, not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> Did we even do anything to it? We didn't get to the part where we pierced. Well, we yeah, didn't. but still, it. So it came out here. It came out back here. Yeah, it bubbled up right there, though, and came out right there, even. I, I think it was just finding a path around the shell. Yeah, we've, we've got to cut it again. I'm not satisfied. There we go. Now we got our little ant colony in there. So that was the hole we pierced through the top. Okay, all the way down to about... See it better on this one. You can see like it went deeper on that. You can see the actual hole. We made it down about there, like three quarter, uh, just over halfway. Ah. Did it make ant colonies on the outside of it? Got a lot of abrasive way down there. That's where it all was going. There's some cracks out the back here. So it, it split it. Some of these are screw holes. Since we already cut one in half with the water jet, I just want to skin one and see the wood. Yeah. Just have a wooden bowling pin. Even if we left the water jet on going down the top of it for longer, I don't think it would have done much because nope. most of it was all scaping out the sides and inside that plastic jacket, right? That's what it's looking like. So a vertical bowling pin beats a water jet. We should just use bowling pins to cut everything from now on. That's the best idea you've ever had. <laughs> hey, next one is getting crushed. Is that as high as it goes? Yeah, we might not get Uh-oh. Okay, so here's the problem with this one. That right there is the most open it can be when it's closed all the way down, which is significantly thicker than that, and trying to do that on the first pass would bind it up. So, a half bowling pin 
in there is about all we can do on this one. Here we go. So far the bowling pin has defeated the water jet, the mechanical press, and now that one over there is our last hope. Oh boy. Oh, I'm scared. Hydraulic press wins this one. How is the uh, Mitchell versus bowling pin going? Oh, I'm making some progress. <laughs> You're getting kind of sweaty. <laughs> I've never worked this hard in my entire life. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> well, good looking bowling pin. Looks like the two strongest machines we have in this shop are the hydraulic press and Mitchell. I had a little bit of help though. <laughs> With a utility knife and a screwdriver. Some pliers. <laughs> <laughs>